Good snowy morning. It's Julie Stern here again with another high intensity interval workout for you during this um, sad and lonely pandemic, but it doesn't mean you have to let fitness slip away from your routine. There's plenty of you can, plenty you can do with no equipment, with very little room. Just need the commitment and the intensity and the drive. And I'm gonna try and give that to you. So you heard that bell. That's we're gonna, what we're gonna use for denoting 30 second intervals. We're doing five blocks today, four moves in each block, 30 seconds per move. We go straight through each four moves. Then we take 30 seconds off. We go through each block three times. So that's the format. We're gonna get warmed up. I'm not using music today because I think I'm having diff te technical difficulties. There's your note, um, your beep for the interval. Um, so it's hard to hear me with the music on, so I'm just going to do it without. Maybe we'll add it later. So anyway, let's start right away. Let's just start with a squat. We're going to have feet hip width apart. We're going to push back and squeeze up. <clears throat> so on a squat, you really want to think about sinking the hips down and back. So push back and then tilt the pelvis forward at the top and squeeze the glutes. Nice, broad chest. That's our cue to move on. We're gonna squat with a knee up. We'll do each warm up move for 30 seconds just to get in the groove. <clears throat> so the first block is gonna be a little bit more plyometric centered. The second block is gonna be a little more strength. Good, good. Down, up. Stay down, arms up and down. So you're in a chair pose, you wanna tuck your pelvis under, squeeze your core nice and tight, stiff arms up and down, up. Your heart rate should start to go up now. You're sitting back in your heels. Arms go up and down, up and down, up. Good, good. Take them up and down. We're gonna take it to a little side shuffle with a touchdown. Side shuffle with a touchdown. Good. Sink the hips. Again, keep the chest up. If you can't reach all the way to the ground, that's fine. You wanna just get it light on your feet. You get the depth of the squat. That's what I want. I hope you guys are all hanging in there. I'm trying. Good. I'm gonna take it down to a plank. And we're going to take it to um, a down dog, back to plank, then go down to low plank on your elbows, then kick the hips up again and down. Take it up, up, kick the hips up, back, down, down, up. Remember, on that plank, you want to bring the shoulder blades together, leave those hips neutral, up and down. Good, good. Step it in with one foot into a big lunge. Reach up, hands down, step back. Other foot up, reach up, down, back. Up, tall, down, back. Getting the core involved, working on some balance. Up, up, down, back. Step it in. Can you need a straight leg, straight arm kicks. You want the foot to just float in the air. The hand comes down across to that foot. The foot comes straight up. Getting into the hip flexors. You should feel the shoulders by now. I certainly do. Touch, touch. Get that foot coming all the way up. Let it float. You don't want to throw it and jerk it. You want it nice and strong. Good job. We're gonna take it to a nice plie squat, turn to a lunge, plie squat, turn to a lunge. Nice deep movement. You wanna pivot on the toe, and the goal is to bring the back knee down. Now remember these, because we're gonna do these, something sort of similar later, but of course with plyometrics. You got it. You got it down, turn, down, Take a deep breath in, take it down. I want your arms forward 
and open. You're sitting in that plie, forward and open. Open the shoulder blades, open the chest. Shoulder blades, chest. Just a few more. Shoulder blades, chest. Good. Open. We're gonna take it up one notch. Right here, we're gonna bring it together and jack. Just little jacks. You wanna be nice and light on the feet. I don't think my bum's gonna last long today. Nice light on the feet. You got it. Well, there goes my bun. <laughs> my hair and makeup people couldn't make it today, so <laughs> we're just going to have to wing it. Good. Last move. Let's take it to a high jump and a nice deadlift. You want a flat back. You want your shoulder blades to stay together and you want to feel a stretch through the glutes and warmth through the hamstring. So jump and reach, jump and reach. You got it. We'll do a little stretch before we start. Jump, reach, take it to a side lunge. A little stretch, three, two, take the other side, side lunge. Now let's pulse it, two and two, two pulses, nice and low, open the hips, open the chest, get a stretch through the inner thigh, get your medial glutes to start to warm up, take it in, take a deep breath, and exhale, good job. All right, we're going to start the next interval, we're going to do a jack with a weight, you don't need to use a weight. It's up to you whether you use the weight or not, but we're going to start with it just doing a jack. So you can do it without a jack, without a weight, right? Okay, so I'll cue the rest as we go. Yes? All right, you guys ready? Let's go. Listen for the beep. That's going to be our cue. Let's go, jack. Okay, overhead punch. Now if you're doing this without a weight, you can just punch your arms up without it but still give it that intensity in the upper body. That's gonna jack up the intensity of a normal jack. Good, good. Get those shoulders moving up, great, take it down. Plank jack, forward arm raise. So we're gonna jack it out and raise the arm. Jack and raise, jack and raise. Now if you're ambitious, you can combine those two, jack and arm, right? But I want you to avoid tilting the hips. Keep the hips flat. Up, 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 up. Good, good. Stand it up with forward, back, forward, back, forward to a tuck jump. So it's one, two, three, tuck jump. One, two, three, tuck jump. Two, three. Optionally, squat. One, two, three, squat. Or one, two, three, squat. You got the options. Good. We got the power clap under. Squat, jump, lift one leg, clap under. Now, you don't have to jump. You can be here, down, up, still getting it intensity. Down, up, down, up, good. Down, give me some height. You got it, 30 second break. We start from the top. have a towel nearby, so you're going to need it, yeah? Always hydrate in between. Jack, one weight, get ready. Now you can step out the jack. You can step it out instead of the full jack. Let's go. But if you're stepping it out, I want you to put weight 
in the foot that's stepping out. Don't just tap, right? Give it some intensity. Can you hear me breathing? Then you should be too. Keep it up. Take it down. Plank jack with forward raise. Jack, raise it up. Now I'm gonna try and correct myself. So I bring my shoulder blades closer together. Keep the hips even. Or combine them. Forward, back, forward, tuck jump. One, two, three, tuck jump. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get those knees up to the chest. Or squat. Or vertical jump. One or the other. We're almost there. Power clap under. Down one knee up. Clap under. Jump if you can. Nice. Thirty seconds. Grab your towel, grab a drink. We're going through that one more time. Then we move on to block two. Okay, jack with one weight. <sighs> I hope you feel puffing and puffing like I am. I really hope so. Is ready? Good. So you line on the feet, using the core to support the movement, <clears throat> connecting upper and lower body. Keep it up, keep it up. Good. Down plank jack, forward raise. Combine them if you can. This is the last time through. Forward, back, forward, tuck, jump. One, two, three. Come on. Tuck. One, two, three. Try to land light. Use your core. Power clap under. Down up. Down up. Come on, give it juice. Give it your morning juice. Down and up. Doesn't have to be fast. It does have to be big. Come on. And you've got a minute break. Wow, that's a good one, right? Okay, super intense moves. Do as much as you can, then dial back when you need to. Take a modification. Our next block is more strength oriented. We've got um, a pike push up with the hips high in the air, fingers facing in, elbows going out. Then we've got, we're gonna jump to plank and then jump back to pike. 
in between with two push-ups, jump to plank, jump to pike. You can always bend the knees in the pike if you need to. Then we're gonna lay it down and do swimmers on our tummy. Then plank to lunge with reverse fly. So get a set of weights going. We're starting with our V push-up. Watch me. High hips, fingers in, two push-ups. Plank, pike, push-up, push-up. Plank, pike. Get those feet closer to your hands than they would be in a down dog. Plank, pike. You got it. What do we got? Oh, taking it down to our tummies. Swimmers. We're just fluttering, kicking the legs. You're squeezing from the glutes. And just reach alternating arms. You don't have to lift high off the ground here. It doesn't require a lot of back flexibility. You need to tighten up the glutes to support your low back. Keep your arms off the ground. Reach, reach. Good. Now we have plank to lunge with reverse fly and glute lifts. So plank, step forward to lunge, reverse fly, down, step back, step in, reverse fly. Good. Now I'm going to add a glute lift. That's optional. That's only if you can support it with a strong glute. Good. Tricep kickbacks and press ups. Grab your weights. Elbows high. Sit in chair. Kick it in, out, drop it down. Do not swing. This is what I want you to avoid. Okay? We're not using momentum. Everything's extremely controlled. Keep your hands behind your thighs. Up, in, out. You'll be like, oh wait, but that's hard, Julie. Right, 30 seconds. Tricep, triceps are extremely difficult to do right. Most people inevitably, you know, struggle and therefore adopt bad form. So elbows high, kick, in, out, release, not release, okay? We're going back to that pike push up, get down. Two, back, up. Now, if you need to, you can step back, go to child's pose. If you need a little break, that's what you're gonna do. Two, two, back, up, two, down. We've got those reticulated swimmers. Reach. Little flutter kicks. Reach. Reach. Now I'm gazing up at you, but your eyes should be forward, not necessarily up. I don't want you to crank the neck. So gaze forward with your neck neutral. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Glutes nice and tight. Good, good. Keep strong. Push up to plank. You've got to step that leg in, reverse fly, take it down to plank. Step it in, add that glute lift if you want to, take it down and back, up and lift. Good. Switch, down and back, lift, up, down. Good. All right, we've got that tricep kickback, press up. Okay, I should have known that. I was just cueing it in, out. You're just releasing from that intensity of the contraction. You're not resting, right? So that's the concept of intervals. You're never totally resting. Even recovery is active recovery. Keep it up. In, out, and down. Good, okay. You got a 30 second break, we go back 
to the top. Oh, it's the last time through on this round. This one was a little too easy, I think, maybe. Making up for the last round, that was really tough, right? Getting your pike. Push up, push up. Get your ears between your biceps. You're dropping the top of the head to the mat. Get ready. Two, two, plank, pike. Two, two, plank, pike. Down up, plank, pike. Down up, down up, plank, pike. Down up, down up. Is this almost over? Articulating swimmers, take it down. Flutter kicks are small. I don't want you to start to put a lot of pressure in the low back. What I want you to do is squeeze the glutes as hard as you can. Lift the chest only slightly off the mat. Relax your shoulders. What do I mean? I don't want you squeezing your shoulder up to your ear. You're just extending, lengthening through the spine and the neck. Good. Keep it up. Get your weights ready, weights ready. Take it up, reverse fly, down to a plank. You're switching legs each time, down and back. I'm adding that glute lift, you don't need to add that. You could do this without weights. If you give it focus and intensity, squeeze the shoulder blades together, then you don't even need them. Take it up, lift the elbows. Kick, in, out, release. Sit a little lower, good, good. Kick it back, in, out, and down. We got a little more intensity coming up in the next block. Stick with me, up, in, out. After this, we got a full minute break. Holy cow, that was easy, good, good. Good, drop the weights. All right, let me cue block three while you're toweling off and rehydrating, which I need to do also. Okay, block three, burpee. Really wouldn't be high intensity without some kind of burpee, right? And I know we hate them. You hate them because they're good. They're effective. They work. They're hard. They jack up the heart rate. They challenge you in all ways. That's what you want. You want to gravitate towards that stuff, not away. It's just a matter of conditioning yourself and that's all it is practice just do it to your best of your ability and do it a little bit more the next time right so burpee with two push-ups that's it then we're doing a little side shuffle with a touchdown then a low bridge with power leg switches I'll show you and then side plank hip dip to side leg lift pretty straightforward okay guys let's go we've got burpee two push-ups Okay, down, out, push up, push up. And I'm gonna add a vertical jump because I just do. In, now if you don't wanna add a jump, you can elevate your toes. And up, or not. Push up, push up. Remember, don't look underneath you. Don't let your head hang down. Re resist the impulse to let that head do this, right? Wide, low, side shuffle. You're gonna use the mat. We're gonna shuffle, shuffle, touch down. Shuffle, shuffle. Nice, low lunge. We're staying low the whole time. Creeping side to side. Now, if I had more room, I would shuffle farther, but I don't. So I'm making do. We're staying low. Touch down and lunge. Touch down and lunge. Good. Nice. We got a low bridge, watch. We're up, hips in the air. Right leg up, we're gonna switch and switch. Now obviously if you don't want the jump, you can step and switch the legs. The jump is really hard. You can plant your hands in the ground and help you kind of elevate that body. Come on. Good. Rock it up, 
No, take it down. Side plank. Hip dip, leg lift. Let's have the arm up. Hip dip, lift. Down up, lift and down. Let's stay on this side. Good. Down up, lift. Down up, lift. Try to keep a straight line from head to heel. If you need to, you're dropping the bottom knee. Or just do the hip dip with the top leg over. That's another modification. 30 second break here. And then we go back to our burpee with two push-ups. I'll face behind so you can see it from a different angle. Okay, guys? All right. We got about 10 seconds. I can fix my hair. How about that? So it doesn't get too spiffy. All right. You guys ready? Go. Down, out, push up, push up, in, up. The key is buoyancy, and that's going to come from strength. You can actually land in your push up to make it a little harder. Good. Wide low side shuffle. We go. Shuffle touchdown. Touchdown. Use your, the length of your mat as a guide. Really scoot side to side and stay low. Low, low. Bending through the legs, sitting the hips down. Let's do that bridge. Take it up. Left leg, switch, switch. Switch. Just try that push off. If you have to go slower, that's fine. Right? Or you're just setting down, lifting. Setting down, lifting. Come on. Alright. Other side. Side plank. Hip dip. Dip it. Lift, hip dip, side leg lift. You got it. You got one more time through this. Then you're done with block three, can you believe it? It's going fast, no? <sighs> lift, down up, and lift. These are intense, a lot harder than they look. Good. All right, we go back to the burpee, then the side shuffle then the bridge, then the side plank. This time we will switch sides halfway through in the side plank, okay? You guys ready? I'm gonna step to it, look. All right, burpee, two push-ups. Get ready. Now give me every intensity left in your bones, okay? This is the third time, last time through round three. Come on, three. Don't have the head come down first. Have the chest come to the floor. That's the goal in a push up. Good. Side shuffle. Touch down. Get some space for yourself. If you can, I should be lower. Sometimes I forget. Low, low. Come on, work hard. You'll feel it more in the thighs, the lower you get. That's where the work is. That's also where the payoff is. Come on. Low bridge. Get up. Lift the hips. Leg up, switch, and switch. By now, your legs are very tired, hopefully. Mine are, switch, switch, switch. Come on. Great job. Blow 
little side plank. Arm up. Lift. Dip. Lift. You got it. Now I'm going to turn my back to you in a few seconds to go on the other side. Last one here. Okay, turn it. Arm up. Dip. Lift. Good, good. Good. You got a minute. Woo. Now we move on to block four. Man, this is going fast. Okay. Hopefully you can put some music on if you do this workout on your own. Okay. Um, oh yeah, so this is where that move came in that I coached you through in the warm-up. Except we're gonna do a front lunge, pulse for two, jump to a plie, then the other foot comes forward in a lunge. Then, so two, 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 stay upright. Don't lean forward. Use a mirror if you've got it. You guys ready? Now we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do those high low lunges. I'll show you. So you start high, it's like a skipping lunge. And then skaters up three, touch down back three. So here we go with that front lunge. Two, jump to a plie. Now obviously the modification here is simply stepping and stepping, stepping and stepping. Two, two, do not lean forward. Stay tall, tuck the booty under. Two, 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 good, good. We got those jumping lunges. Reach, touch down, reach, touch down. You're skipping the feet side to side. Come on, reach, touch, reach, touch. Good. Good, good. Oh my, what do we have to next? Skaters. One, two, three, touch down. One, two, three, touch down. Take it up. Touch down, back, touch down, side to side, throw your body, lateral movement, getting in the hips, good, get low as long as your head's still up, and we got down dog, jump to lunge, get your down dog, lunge, down dog, lunge, up, down, hips up, hips down, pick up the pace. Up, down, up, down, light on the feet, light on the feet. You can step these feet. The obvious difference there, the obvious modification is just instead of jumping the feet, you're just stepping from down dog to lunge, right? Okay. So, Two more times through that, we've got the lunge pulse to plie pulse. Okay, then our jumping lunges. I should say skipping lunges. You ready? Two, two, two. Get the feet wide. You wanna avoid a diamond, okay? Nice and wide. Two, 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 good. You guys with me? I can't see you, but I can feel you. Come on. Go, go. Skipping lunges, reach, touch. Now, if you don't get all the way down, you can be here, right? Step in and lunge. Push it out. What do we have? 
up next, we have skaters. Why am I forgetting those? I'm getting tired. One, two, three. One, two, three. Don't worry about it, side to side. Lateral movement's important for fall prevention, stabilization of your movement. Come on. One, two, three. We're going for that jumping plank lunges. Down dog, lunge. You can get your hips high here, okay? If you can speed it up, do. jump it. It's actually a down dog to a lunge, not a plank. So you can raise those hips up and look at your feet when you're in down dog, okay? Right. Last time through. Take a deep breath. Lunge pulse to plie pulse. Okay. Lunge. Light on your feet, like you're on a trampoline. Yeah? Plyometrics comes from here. More than it does the big muscle groups and the legs. Yes, they're working, working hard. But the intensity is driven by the core. That's why this is such a great core workout. Keep up, keep up. <sighs> Skipping lunges. We got those skaters up to a touchdown. Coming at ya. Come on, one, two, touchdown. Back, touchdown. Up, come on. tall through the spine. Good. Jump your lunges. From down dog. Come on. Flatten your hips in the lunge. Flatten your knees slightly if you need to. I am. done. You've done four blocks. You have one left. All right. This one's all core. And it's just to like put the icing on the cake of this entire workout, which we've been working the core the whole time. Okay. We're going to do a plank with leg swings. So we're in a plank. We lift, cross, lift, set it down, other side. You're lifting from the glute, okay? Don't throw your leg back or arch your back. Keep a tight glute. Try to cross the knee to the opposite shoulder or elbow. Elbow from there. Let's just focus on that. Set yourself up. No time for delay. Get your transitions quick. We're going down a plank. Trying those swings, right? <laughs> lift, cross, lift. Down, cross, and down. Good, good. Squeeze your glutes. Open your chest. Bring your shoulder blades together. Gaze forward. Relax your shoulders. There's so much going on here. Can you do it? Give it a try. Sit back and child if you need that little break. Lift, cross, lift, down. 
sit down. I want you to grab one weight. Or you can do this with no weights. We are gonna pass this weight up and over, but I'm not sitting up. No, no, I'm sitting back in a V. Tons of core here, tons of shoulders. I'm gonna lift my feet just to see. Ooh, yeah. You wanna kick it up a notch? Lift those feet one inch off the ground and that'll do it. You should be shaking. Lift and open. Great job, low plank. We're gonna jack with an alternating hip dip. Watch. Jack and dip. Jack and dip. Speed is not necessary here, right? Dip. Out in. Dip. You can always tap it and dip. You can extend with the knees down. What you cannot do is be pivoted at the hip. Jack and dip. Okay. Star crunch. Grab your weights. Lay down on your back. X. Big giant X. You're going to come up, reach, and down. Other side. Let the other weight on the ground hold that arm down. Sit all the way up. Reach the hand to the foot. Now you can always bend the knee and bring the elbow to the knee. You can do this without weights, obviously. Good. All right. So let me just cue really quick on that low plank. So what, this is what people tend to do. They lift their hips, right? I want you to bring your chest forward, and if you need to, set your knees down. Look how little difference there is from full modification to full, right? Very small difference. Sit in your V. No, plank, plank with leg swings. Then the V. So take it up, over, and down. Good. It's really easy to do this with a hunchback and then tuck the head under. You need to bring your shoulders um, over your wrists, bring your chest forward, gaze forward. Yes, it's hard that way. Yes, you want to do this. Instead, sit back, come back for a couple more. Launch yourself forward into that plank. Good, V-sit. Grab your weight. We're gonna pass it down. These are really hard. Is it just me? Whew. Especially at the end. Five blocks today. Very challenging. Up and over. Keep it strong. You are almost there. Whew. 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 That low plank jack with alternating hip dip. Jack and dip. These get hard real fast, so don't be shy. Sit it back, come forward, or drop one of your knees. Jack, dip, jack, dip, jack, dip. Woo! Major intensity through the core. Good job. Star crunch, get your weights wide. Bend your knee slightly, bend your elbow slightly. Anything you need to do, you can just do this in a crunch without lifting the shoulders all the way off the mat. So that's a little bit less intense. All right, we're starting from the top. This is our last time through of block five. Then we stretch. Give it everything you have right now and get ripped through your core. Come on. Plank with leg swings. I'm giving myself the same pep talk. Okay. Way too many snacks around the house. Way too many sweets. Hard to keep up that resistance, right? Up, up. Shoulder blades together. Chest forward. Good. 
Reset, pass that weight. Can you lift those feet for the very last one of these for the day? Open, open, up, up, open, up, open. I have to breathe. All right, little plank jack with hip dips. We'll put this in. Oh my gosh, okay. You can slow it down. I'm gonna show the modification because my core is done. Yes, it is. I'll do every other one. And Finally, star crunch. Get to it. Open up. Reach, reach. And down. Reach, reach. Stand it up, just kind of slow down the heart rate and stretch it out. So I always say with any workout really, no matter what you're doing, save maybe yoga, you should have your heart rate jacked up at some point. If not intermittently throughout the workout, take it to the other side. So you really should be giving it your own intensity. And that's something that comes from the obviously inside of you and a lot of people don't exactly know how to do that. Well, take your body central, bend your knees, push your right shoulder in and get a nice twist through your spine. It's just pushing yourself that extra little bit each time. You know, depending on your energy level, you know, experiment, take it to the other side. You should be experimenting with intensity. You should be peppering it in throughout a workout so that you're gradually increasing your capabilities and your um, endurance level. You're gonna be, by virtue of that, increasing your metabolism. Deep breath in. Clasp your hands together, palms up. Bring it forward. Bend the knees. Tilt the pelvis. Open the shoulder blades. I'm sweating crazy. I hope that you are too. Open the chest. Bring your shoulder blades together. Bring your elbows toward each other. Great, great. Step it in. Right leg forward, left leg back. Sink it down, tilt your pelvis. Lean back, getting through the hip flexor here. And the quadricep. Push off, lift. Grab that foot, now tuck the pelvis. Knees pointed down, foot is pushing against the hand. Tilt, pelvis tilted. So you should feel really intense through the quadriceps up here. Okay, really focus on the stretch. And then we're gonna kick this leg forward. And sit back, shoulder square hips square so you don't want to kick up like this keep it square forward fold if you can bring your nose to your knee and grab for your foot if not you stay here with the flat back you might have a slight you're probably gonna have a slight bend in your knee so that you don't overtax the joint I should be breathing nice and deeply and getting a little bit deeper with every exhale. Take it back, right foot back, sink it low, lean back, sink it low again, tilt forward, lean back again. Really get into this whole front hip flexor quad. Our hip flexors tend to get tight if we're sitting all day, right? Because they're sitting in that flex, that contracted position. So you need to stand up and do some of these during the day. Push off 
grab the foot, knee pointed down, press the foot against the hand, active stretch. You should engage the opposite muscle group to, this, to the muscle that's stretching. That's really what yoga is all about. When they give the cues that they do, that's what they're basically telling you, is to engage the muscles that are behind the one that's stretching. Keep it up. Swing it forward. Sit, push the hips back, lengthen the spine, fold forward, come all the way down if you can. Cross the right leg over the left, take a deep breath in. Keep your legs straight, forward fold. And you should feel this in the hip on the back leg side. Okay, take it all the way down if you can. Your knees roll it up cross the other leg over deep breath in forward fold and lengthen through the spine then fold all the way over Take a deep breath in, I want you to exhale, clasp those hands behind you, press the hands down, press the shoulders down with it. Take a deep breath, lengthen, and forward fold, bring those hands over the head. Push the shoulders down and reach a little bit further. Feel the hamstring stretch too. Turn the knees, roll it up. Last deep breath in and exhale. Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope that you enjoyed it. This work, this format was adopted from Beachbody's Insanity Live, which I'm trained on and have taught for many years. Although most of the movements are things that I've developed on my own. Some of them are adapted from Beachbody, but um, so I hope that you liked the format. It's just another type of interval. Um, and let me know. Leave some comments and let me know how you liked it. And I thank you so much for joining me. Take, drink tons of water. Take stretches throughout the day. Get, get up and walk around. Keep your body moving. Keep the blood flowing. And starting to connect mind-body in a way that will improve your overall health. Right? Thanks, guys. Bye.